Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, Emacs has released a product for people who want to get into the FPV hobby that are total beginners and they want a kit that's all in one. In other words, you get the controller, you get the goggles, you get the drone, you get the battery, battery charger, etc. And here it is, the Easy Pilot Pro ready to fly from Emacs. This is a very budget kit budget friendly for anybody that wants to get into the FPV hobby. All right, so you're wondering what comes in the box? Well, I'm gonna show you right now and then I'm gonna fly this thing. So first off, you get the drone and the drone is really flexible. It's designed for beginners. Emacs says you cannot break this even if you are beginners. So I'm sure a lot of you will put that to the test. Next, you get the controller right here. Look at this controller, pretty sweet. And this controller does work with flight sims. You can download any flight sim like the one you see me playing here and use this controller with it. You also get this display. So if you're somebody who comes from camera drones, you know, like you're used to flying DJI or Autel or Hopsin or Fimi drones and you're used to looking at your phone and you think it might be difficult to wear goggles, well then you could take the display off the goggles and put it on your controller like this. Let me show you really quick. So these are your your goggles and you go like this, boink, take display off, put display on controller right here. Life is great. Speaking of the goggles, if you put them on and the image looks a little bit blurry, you can focus it by yanking this out and adjusting it to some spot where it doesn't look so blurry. I will say for somebody like me who wears glasses, uh, you know, my eyesight's less than perfect. I'm farsighted. So I can take my glasses off, look in here, and it's blurry no matter how I adjust it. So it doesn't work for me because my prescription is too bad. But if you have a light prescription, you might be okay. If you want to wear your glasses inside, See these, the rims on mine, they will not fit inside. You will need smaller rims. What else do you get? Well, since you're gonna be flying a drone, you need a battery. So a battery is included. So one cell battery, I will recommend right now that you buy yourselves extra batteries. Wherever you order this from, Emacs website or whatever, get extra batteries. These are dirt cheap. I would say at least get yourself a total of four. You also get spare props just in case you toast the ones that come on your drone. You get a USB cable so you can charge up your display. You can charge up your controller. You get a battery charger, you can charge up to six batteries so I did say get yourself four but if you want to get a total of six this little unit will charge up six batteries. You also get little screws and a screwdriver just in case you want to take the motors off or disassemble anything. You get lots of Emacs documentation plus a link to the manual for this drone because it's not included in paper format inside. You have to click on the, the QR code to get the manual and you get some Emacs stickers which are stuck down here. Emacs stickers! Okay let me push this out of the way and let me tell you something that I bet you a lot of you with a keen eye have just thought while watching this, you're probably going, I've seen this drone before. Steve, you reviewed this drone already. Well, I did, but I reviewed the Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly kit, which is this one. So this is an item I reviewed before, but this item costs more than the one I'm showing you today. So this item comes with a case. There's a few differences. It comes with this drone and this is the drone I'm showing today. So the differences between the two drones are the following. The Easy Pilot, the one I'm showing today, is much larger in size than the previous one, the Emacs 3 Tiny Hawk I showed before. It's larger inside because it has thicker plastic so that beginners can't break it. Controllers between the two, identical. Where there's a difference is in the display unit. So this is the display unit with the Easy Pilot right here and this is the display unit with the Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly. And the biggest difference is that the Easy Pilot, the one I'm showing today, you cannot record video. You cannot put a micro SD card in here and you cannot record video. But on the Tiny Hawk 3 version, this one here, you can record video. You can put a micro SD card in and record video. So the video you're recording is your flight. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little guy for a flight because I haven't even flown it. I just received this recently. It got shipped to me and I know Emacs is launching it soon so I'm making this video really quick to get it out the door for the launch. So I'm gonna go fly this and I'm gonna try it differently. I'm gonna fly it just by looking at this because I know a lot of beginners that's the first way you're gonna fly it. You're gonna put your little display on your remote and just stare at that and see if you can fly it. So I'm gonna try to fly this around the house. Now let me show you this quick. This is on the previous remote. They're identical but I want to show you that I'm gonna show you a close-up. So look at my screen right now. You'll see I put little stickers where the switches are. 
Take a snapshot of that and write it down because if you buy this drone, you have to know what the switches do. And right now, as you see on the screen, I'm showing you what the switches on the top do and what the switches on the back do. So make sure you make note of that. All right, let's go fly. All right, so here we go. First things first, I'm gonna turn on our little controller here. Get a green light, we're all set. Take the switches, push them away from you. There we go, switches all the way. That's perfect. Next, take our drone and put a battery in it. So here, I'll just put it over here. I think the camera can get it. Putting a battery in there and then just plug it in. Connect the wires, it starts up automatically. Here we go, click. And you see all the lights come on and it is ready to fly. I'm just gonna put it up here because that's where we're gonna take off from. Now, one thing I've done is I've taken the camera and I pushed it down so that it's looking more straight. You'll get more of the props in the frame, but it's easier for flying indoors. Next, our little monitor here. Uh, power button is over on the side. So let's just press that. Hold that in, should see the word Emacs, and then you'll see the image from this here drone. So wherever I look with the drone is where we see the image on there. I don't know if you're getting any glare off the screen from this camera over here, but uh, there it is. So I'll show it in this camera just to show that, uh, there we go, same idea. Everything should be working. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fly it just staring at this. I've never done that before, so this should be pretty fun. Now what I have is my fat shark goggles here and I'm gonna search for the frequency because I don't think it's on, no, it's not on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the image in here. So it says it's on race band four. So let's go to race band four. Okay, we should be ready to fly. So all switches are away from me. Make sure for angle mode, you have the switch in the right spot. I can see it on my screen. It says A-N-G-L. As I move this, H-O-R is horizon. And as I move it again, it's air mode. So we want an angle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly it just by looking at it here and keep it in the camera. So here we go, arm. Oh, it sounds scary. But there we go. Now bring it over to me. It's sideways. There we are, I'm gonna spin it. Should see it in the view. This is how easy it is to fly these things. So now what my objective is, is to fly it by looking at the display in front of me, not staring at it like this. So, uh, all right, here we go. Let's take it over this way, down the hallway. I'm just gonna look at it for a sec because I have to put my eyes over this way. All right, oh yeah. I got my screen sticking up a little bit too high, but that's okay. So now what I'm gonna try to do is move my screen like this so I could fly it and you could see what I see on the screen. Hopefully that other camera's picking it up. But there we go, that's how you fly it indoors. Very smooth, going around walls. The walls obviously cause interference and then come on back to me. So we'll bring it on back. It's a very smooth flyer, go right over the couch smoothly. Come on back this way. Ooh, we could go under, but I'm gonna go over top. And then bring it over this way. Right here, right over me. There I am right there, coming over and zoom. Yeah, there it is. And then we'll go through my dining room here. Go through the dining room and then come on back. Big turn and then coming back this way. And the arm switch is on top. Bring it on back and now I'm gonna hit the arm switch. Boink! And there she is. All right, let me try with the FPV goggles. All right, my batteries and my fat sharks are low, so you might hear some beeping as they get low, but here we go. Where is this thing? So put it in angle mode, same battery, everything else. And uh, flying it now with goggles. Much easier with FPV goggles for a guy like me. There we go, whip down the hallway, no problem. And then come around this way, come down this way. Whoa, a lot of interference through that wall. Whoa, missed that wall, but here we go fly over me here. So there I am, fly over. There's my messy kitchen. Come back this way, there I am there, fly by me again. And spin around and fly by me again. Come on over this way. All right, I'm getting low battery warning. All right, let's bring her down here. And arm switch, there we are. <gasps> Having the arm switch on top is very difficult for a guy like me because I'm in the FPV hobby and we all put our arm switches on the front on either finger, not on the top. What are you thinking, Emacs? You can reassign the switches, but you have to go into Betaflight to do it. And if you're a beginner, it's probably kind of daunting, but you can go on YouTube, watch videos how to do it. It's very simple, actually. All right, I'm gonna change the battery on here and I've opened my patio door and I'm gonna fly this outside. So my fat sharks, as I mentioned, the battery is really low. Is there enough power? Ooh, let's see, not much power. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of power to go out really quick and come back in. It is pretty windy out there. And looking outside my backyard, it looks totally white. So uh, 
Here we go. I'm going to leave it in angle mode so that I don't go too fast. But here we go. Try not to hit me. Whoa, as I hit me anyways. And we're outside. There we are. Whoa, it's getting blown by the wind. But I just want to show you something. If I can bring it down here by the house. What I want to show you is it rains and everything is solid ice out here. No matter where I go, it's ice, 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 ice. Whoa, look at all the ice out here. This is craziness. All right, so there we are outdoors. I'm just going to bring it back because the wind is going to take it. If you want to fly this outdoors, you should be in acro mode if there's wind. So I have a bit of wind, but I'm in angle mode here. So let's just bring it back in. You see, there's no wind as I get close to the house. The house blocks it. Oh, there I got some wind. So I'm going to try to go, come in at an angle. There we go. Whoa, there's a, a chair in front. And arm it right there. All right. So that was the flight. And there you have it. That was my review of the Easy Pilot Pro Ready to Fly kit. I'm sure you're going to love this kit if you get it. It's not very expensive. I think it's just over $200 US. But that's just over $200 US with the display, the controller, the goggles, the drone, a battery, the charger. And like I said, the controller works with flight sims. So you get a lot of practice that way and you'll turn into a pro before you even get out to fly this. Now, when I say it works with flight sims, I mean it works with like FPV drone flight sims, camera drone flight sims, RC planes, RC helicopters, whatever type of flight sim is out there, this will work because it's just an external USB controller. And by that, I mean you just plug your little USB cable in the front into your computer and you're all set to go. So with all that said, I am going to put links to this product below. Go check it out. It's uh, probably one of the least expensive all-in-one ready-to-fly kits. And since it's from Emacs, you know, you have a big name behind the drone product so that everything will work out well all right guys if you have questions on this product in any way shape or form just post them below and i'll get back to you thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you in many more drone reviews coming up in the future bye